all bubble applications have to be on a plan no matter what. If you're looking to explore the platform, the free plan is going to help you with that. You'll get to know all the mechanics of how bubble works, right? The workflow logic, the database structures, the page designs. You can even get started with your actual project on the free plan and keep it under construction. But once you're ready to do more with it, once you're ready to go live with your application, you will need to upgrade to one of the paid plans. And this is really where the decision needs to be made. So I'm going to make this really easy for you and I'm going to go over four major areas you'll want to consider first when choosing the right plan for your app. Now, obviously Bubble has a whole host of features and capabilities spread out across all of the plans that you will want to understand. But if you address these four sections first, it should help you narrow down your options so you can make a confident decision. So the four sections are workload, complexity of your application, working with a team and infrastructure requirements. Workload is how Bubble measures all of the activity you're creating in your app. And so every plan is going to offer a certain number of workload units that you can use on a monthly basis to power that activity. This is why this is one of the first things you want to look at when choosing a plan. You want to make sure you choose one that actually covers your workload needs. The complexity of your app is also going to be a big factor. And there are certain capabilities that serve more complex applications uh, on the higher tier plans. So for example, you may need to offer two-factor authentication to your users to enhance security. This isn't available on all of the plans. You may need to go back further in time to restore data sets, uh, to restore previous builds, previous versions of your application, uh, which may be more necessary the more complicated your app gets. You may need more file storage capacity. Now, yes, you know, in a lot of ways, uh, an application that's more complex is naturally going to require Require more workload units as well. So these two things can go hand in hand. Real quick, if you're finding this helpful, our fast track course goes vastly more in depth about taking your app from idea to launch. Founders who are looking for a complete start to finish blueprint have found it most helpful. So take a look at coachingnocodeapps.com slash fast hyphen track to see if it'll be a good fit for you too. The next thing to consider is if you're going to be working with other people in building your application, because Bubble does have several collaboration capabilities that are restricted to certain tiers. For example, just the ability to invite other people to your editor uh, is going to be a feature that you need to be on a specific plan for. Beyond that, you can also create additional copies of your projects. So you can have additional branches of your development environment so that everyone who's collaborating with one another can be kind of isolated. They're not overriding other people's work. Uh, there's a lot of capability around syncing changes, making sure that overall the project is publishing the version that everybody is in alignment with. And finally, you do need to consider the infrastructure of your application. You know, you may have some regulatory uh, requirements, some compliance needs that need to be met for your industry. Uh, you know, every application, no matter what plan, is obviously going to come with a standard level of uh, care, security, support. Uh, but there are some capabilities that you can add on to your plan uh, for having a lot more control, especially if you're in an enterprise environment. Bubble's enterprise plans allow you to essentially custom build your entire package. Remember that each individual application is going to be on its own plan and your needs are going to change over time. Your app will evolve. It may become more complex. It may simplify. So monitor what your needs actually are and switch plans uh, as you go so that uh, you're really only paying for what you use.